Hello everybody, Jackson here with the Well Squad. Today we'll be talking about three undervalued stocks that no one's really talking about. Uh, of course, these are the best investments to get into just because the more people that talk about a stock, generally the more crowded it is. And that's not a good thing, right? You don't want to get in a crowded trade. Um, usually it doesn't go right. So uh, when you're not in a crowded trade, you know, you have a better opportunity uh, to make money. So we're looking at Coinbase first. Coinbase is near the low, right? We're looking at, uh, you know, yesterday as or Friday as uh, the all time low for Coinbase 162. Right now we're at 190 uh, from that 162, just crazy intraday price swings. Uh, so now we're at 190, still below 200. Uh, just two months ago, we were buying at 353.60, right? That's what the price was at. Um, and now we're at under 200. So Coinbase is still a good stock, regardless if Bitcoin is high or low, just because, uh, you know, when you buy or sell Bitcoin, you still pay a fee, right? So the trading is still there. It's not like everyone got bored of crypto. It's just that prices have gone down. If anything, you know, the interest should be up just because more volatility is in crypto than, you know, before. So think of Coinbase as whatever crypto does, Coinbase is still making money. However, if Bitcoin goes up over time, so will Coinbase just because Coinbase follows the crypto trend. Um, so, yeah, Coinbase near the all time low, basically there, uh, a solid deal right now, especially under 200. Um, so yeah, consider Coinbase or put in your watches or whatever, consider, uh, adding Coinbase. So next we're going to be looking at Pinterest, looking at the IPO price of 24 right now we're at 29. Uh, so it's been what a year, two years, two, almost, yeah, right. Two years. Um, obviously more than two years since Pinterest has gone public, um, more like, yeah, two years and a couple months. So, and the price is the same, right? That's, that seems like a deal. Uh, at one point Pinterest was, you know, $10 back in the very start of COVID. And at one point it sold for 90, right? It was selling for 90 and just at this price point of, uh, what was it around 70 where, uh, PayPal was trying to buy Pinterest. So since that announcement, since even before the announcement, Pinterest is down 43% in a hundred days, right? That's a good, good deal. That's a good discount for the same stock just a hundred days uh, later. And you can see the earnings reports have very, very rarely failed us, right? We're seeing um, two out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, soon to be 12. Uh, when is this coming on on February 3rd? So we're in, in two or three days, right? February 3rd. So watch out for that um, announcement. Usually you could see that volatility is high whenever earnings comes into play for Pinterest, right? See right here, jump from, you know, 29 to 33, 10%. Uh, you can see here, it dropped a bunch from 25 to 20 or you can see it jumped, dropped, jumped a bunch, jumped another uh, more bunch, jumped some more, fell, fell, and uh, I guess this one, this last one didn't really react as much, um, but we're going to see what happens next on Wednesday, so, or Thursday, February 3rd is Thursday, uh, but anyways, yeah, Pinterest, another stock, you're buying at the IPO price, right? That's basically what you're doing uh, two in a couple months, years later. Um, consider that it's just like, you know, when Facebook started out, it was a failing stock. When Snapchat started out, it was a failing stock. And now those stocks are, you know, 10 times the IPO price. Snapchat a little less, obviously. Um, but Facebook is definitely more than that. So consider Pinterest. Um, lastly, we'll be looking at Affirm. Affirm was a huge uh, financial stock when it first, you know, started catching some news headlines, right? Amazon partnered with them. 
uh, they've had some solid earnings reports uh, reactions, maybe not the actual reports. You could see uh, that they com the company is not making money in terms of profit. Uh, so, uh, you know, consider that. Same with Coinbase and Pinterest. It's all kind of like iffy, right? Not necessarily making too much or anything at all. Uh, basically, uh, you know, barely profitable companies. In a firm's case, not profitable. Um, so this is more relatively new than the others we've looked at. However, it is at that price below IPO, um, generally where it's a good time to buy, right? Like we could draw something here. Uh, generally, this area is the buy zone, right? You could easily tell that. Every time it went in, it jumped. And, you know, at one point it was 60. And then a couple months later, it was 170, 180. And people were like, how are you not buying this thing? This thing's a deal. But now it's back to 60 and you know are people buying now they probably forgot about it unless it's like up and hitting all-time highs it's not the headlines right um, no one really knows and if you keep track of these stocks you will eventually find it in your watch list you'd be like huh a firm's at 60 you know down 50 percent in the last couple months like that's crazy that's a good deal let's buy some same with coinbase same with pinterest it's all stocks that you're not going to really hear about but you just have to add it to your watch list and hope you find it when you're looking. So I hope you you know find some selections through this video. We're looking at Coinbase, Pinterest, and Affirm Holdings. Uh, all solid picks, but they are on uh, a discount right now. They're trading at a discount. So better than a couple months ago, that's for sure. So, you know, hope you make money with these picks. Uh, if you learned something today or you found a stock that you wish you would have known, Please click the like button and subscribe. We make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.